How's it going, everybody? Akibana Zero here, back with another Volume 8 reaction. We're checking out Chapter 5, titled Amity. Great comments in the comment section. Some of you were talking about Ren and how Ren is probably missing some kind of authority figure in his life at the moment. He used to have people to look up to, like Crow and like Ozpin, one a great teacher and a husband. On the other hand, you have the uh, headmaster of Beacon, these all, all of these people now are kind of scattered in the wind, and all Ren has to look up to right now is Ruby and Jean. And the ha one hand, he's addressed Ruby's uh, age, and that she's too young to be a leader. On the other hand, he doesn't see Jean as capable as somebody like Pira, who we've long lost already. It's pretty. It's a pretty interesting take, and I do think that it is possible that this is kind of where where Ren is coming from right now with uh, with his feelings. There's, there's a lot that right now he is not actually saying, so we're going to have to wait and see how that gets unpacked. Another great discussion in the comment section was about Cinder and how Cinder in past volumes, like volume two and volume three, kind of seems to right now be mirroring what Salem is saying to her now. Things like that, you you shall stay put or you will, you will do what you're told or you'll know what you need to know. And it speaks volumes to what where Cinder probably is coming from and how she's learned and how her personality has actually developed. This is a really good observation. So we got a lot to look forward to in this episode. Oscar is currently being beaten down by Hazel, is getting his knees done in. Uh, we've got Cinder and Emerald and possibly Neo going off on their own little adventure against Salem's wishes, which won't be very good for them. And then you also have Yang, Ren, and Jean, who are probably up shit creek right now because something big is probably coming out of the ground. So lots and lots to look forward to here. But first, the intro. I wonder if this is going to be the only place we're going to see Zvi now in the intro. I mean, I know he was kind of just like a little fun thing that they introduced, but it would be nice to have Zvi along for the ride, you know? Ooh, spooky, ominous. Hey, Pietro. Dad. Penny? This does not seem like a very good idea. There's a bomb. There is a difference between a good idea and our best idea. <laughs> Sadly, we don't have time for much else. We have enough systems up and running to broadcast our message and keep Amity in atmospheric orbit. But our thrusters just aren't capable of reaching our target altitude on their own. <laughs> Fortunately, we're sitting on a couple hundred tons of thrust. <laughs> Once we've passed into broadcasting range, we'll activate stabilizers, re-establish global communications, and boost the message we've recorded out into the rest of the world. After that, <laughs> we just have to pot an avenue away from all this mess. But what if no one is able to come and help Atlas? If I stay behind, I could maybe... Penny, we are not having this conversation again. I'm your father. 
I'm telling you that you belong on Amity. Yes, sir. I'm your father. <laughs> Don't you think Penny has had enough people telling her what to do? <sighs> Prepare for launch, please. I'm moving us into position. I just love Maria in mechs and piloting All stuff. Are ready. It's so fitting with those Penny. goggles. Amity is requesting launch access now. Oh, yes, it worked! <laughs> Over. I didn't have time to install seatbelts, so uh, I'd advise you to hang on. <laughs> I mean, you're the only thing they can hang on to. So what are they blowing up a, a dust mine or something? Whoa, that's not good. And where do you think you are going? El Creepo is back. Or would it be El Creepa? <laughs> Robo Maiden versus Human Maiden. It's time. Ooh, it's like he's been expecting this. I was hoping your friends would be here. It looks like they left you to do all the work. Uh oh. Used. You do not know what you are talking about. Ah, uh, multi sword fight. Love it. Plus mecha. Get away from her, you Ow. <laughs> Ship versus Mecha. I mean, it is a bit of a clunker, though. That was short lived. Do we get a do we get Maria fighting now? Please, please, that would be great. Please. Yes. System failure. Oh shit. We're drifting. After her. Look at that, one-handed. <laughs> oh, in the face. Wow, she's cheeky when she's fighting. Why are you doing this? Why serve someone 
like Salem. I don't serve anyone. And you yeah, right. either if you aren't built that way. That is not. I choose to fight for people who care about me. Hey, watch your back there. Oh, that ain't good. Oh, yeah, of course. She's got backup. Eh, uh -huh, you know. Robot. She's got radar. Oh, that must have hurt. No, 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 no. I know I can't beat you. But I can fill that thing full of holes before you take me down. Yeah, Penny's not like that. Get us out of here. Hurry. Yeah, there you go. With your tail between your legs. Dad. Going back to the person you're not serving. Are you okay? A stabilizer was damaged. We've missed our window. Oh, At crap. Rate, we'll likely drift into touching down just north. Of What's going on? I can fix this. What? Our message is only a few minutes long. I can try and hold Amity in place until... Absolutely not. You're in no condition to do something like this. Even just the temperature out there could... It is our only option. She is right, Pietro. We have to remember the big picture. I don't care about the big picture. I care about my daughter. Oh. I lost you before. And you're asking me to go through that again? No. No. I want the chance to watch you live your life. bit of the feels here <laughs> you know dad has daughter too yeah so why exactly is this a dangerous situation. Probably have to exert a lot of energy. Wow. 
It's a lot of juice. Number one dad. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> hi. Hi. My name is Ruby Rose. I'm a huntress. And if we've done everything right, then I'm talking to all of Remnant right now. Dr. Paul and Dina can explain more later. But right now, you all need to know that the Kingdom of Atlas is under attack. Things are dire, and we need help. But please, try not to panic. This isn't some new enemy or invading kingdom. This is a force we've faced before, for centuries. Oh. The White Fang, Elysian drones, even the Grimm themselves have all been controlled and manipulated by her in order to tear down the Huntsman Academies. I know the idea of the Maidens and Relic seems, well, crazy. But I promise Professor Goodwitch of Beacon and Headmaster Theodore <laughs> of Shade can verify all of this. Oh. They might even be able to help organize a way to fight back. But... Sadly, General Ironwood can no longer be trusted. <laughs> the salty turd off. <laughs> and that's good news for us. Penny's blades operate on the same principle as Amity in the launch terminal. In order for her to control them all, they need to communicate with one another. We didn't have time to prepare for Salem. But now you do. Just because she can't be destroyed doesn't mean she can't be beaten. If she really was unstoppable, she wouldn't have acted with such caution until now. She knows we're a threat. So even if we... Even if Atlas falls, you can't give up. Uh-oh. That's Ty, right? No, yeah. No, come back. And Svi! We got to see Svi! Penny, you've done enough, sweetheart. Get back inside. We can ride out on no. Amity together. Uh, I... I have to go. The bolt. Uh, no! Dad! Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, what? I love you. <gasps> Penny! <laughs> oh. Penny. Global comms just went back down. And Penny isn't responding. What did you do? Exactly what you asked. It's possible Penny's systems are merely rebooting. As for the tower, well, perhaps Pietro isn't the genius you thought. <laughs> We're not waiting. You're going to find her. Winter. Sir? Until Penny either responds or is standing in front of that vault, we cannot assume her status. Take the Aesops. I want constant updates. Get him back to his cell. With pleasure. <laughs> that was the broadcast. Why did we lose signal? And he took the thing. The scroll, I guess one. it. I think it's just up ahead. What? What's that lurking underneath the ground? Whoa. That ain't good. It's grim. A river of grim. Heading straight river. for the kingdom. Oh shit.
Wow. Well, that was definitely something I did not expect. Uh, I don't. I don't think I want to assume right now that Penny is gone again. That would be extremely heartbreaking. But it seems like it's very possible that she's just offline, or she's probably heavily damaged. Uh, she was. She just completely was burning out out there. So who who knows? Who knows? This it's all up in the air. That 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 just kind of shook me a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. So now Arthur has something in his possession that will probably help him hack his way out of there, or is gonna allow him to communicate with somebody. He's got Ironwood Scroll in his hands, and he is probably going to 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 escape, or he's probably going to bring in the cavalry. Some anyway, whatever he's definitely going to cause something big to happen and now we've also have a river of grim heading towards the kingdom it's uh who knows how many grim are gonna start flooding the kingdom at and now we have our answer as to what was lurking in the deep it was a river of grim heading for the kingdom and all shit's about to let loose once again and, the, and it, oh my god, it's just it's just crazy right now what's going on. I thought the battle between uh, Penny and Cinder was pretty cool. There was a moment there where where Cinder burned Penny and that caused Penny pain. I'm not entirely sure that that I that I grasped that uh, completely, but it did seem like she was uh, give it, she was causing pain to Penny, and that's I'm 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 not quite sure how that is possible. She's a uh, she is a robot, but she has a she has aura. She has a soul. There's a lot of like unanswered questions to me at the very least. Here, maybe there's something I have missed in the past, and you know me, I forget things. So yeah, be sure to uh, <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong here about something. It was really cool to see Maria Calavera uh, fight and doing the cheeky thing where she's fighting one handed, and I I just like how she completely toyed with Neo up until the point where she wasn't paying attention, and that's when Neo got to get her sucker punch in. Seeing Ruby deliver that message to all of all of Remnant. And seeing some familiar faces we haven't seen in a while, we got to see Sun and Neptune, which was really cool. I, I mostly had to go through that going, ah, ooh, e, but even still, because, you know, like Ruby's talking, so I didn't want to really talk over all of that. But it was nice to see some familiar faces once again. So maybe this could be the rallying cry that brings everybody to Atlas to come and come and face Salem all together, which would be pretty cool to have like a big Royal Rumble like that going on. Or Royal Rumble would imply that everybody's just fighting each other. I've, uh, I'm have i going to sit and record my review now, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave it a like and subscribe to the channel because it helps a lot. I'd like to tip my hat over to my hat gang over at twitch.tv slash Zero, where I do streams every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 8.30 p.m. UK time. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'm going to catch you next time. Bye-bye.